back again, as you said, uh, and, 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 and we know that you probably hate talking about fighting more than anything else. So let's t- start with Hidden Lotus. Tell us about what, what is Zen Jiu Jitsu? Okay, so um, Zen Jiu Jitsu is actually my coach's uh, uh, business. Um, he, well, not business, I'll say his dojo, his martial arts practice. And I was training with, I've been training with him since high school. I believe that's where we met. We met on the wrestling team. He introduced me to mixed martial arts and jiu-jitsu, actually. So kind of coming back full circle. And then I bought a, well, I leased out a place in Miami. And my brand name would be the Hidden Lotus. So that would be the building name. But Zen Jiu-Jitsu is also housed under the Hidden Lotus. So we just got a brand new school. Honestly, more out of necessity because I needed a place to train. You know, um, before this, like me and him, we were training a lot in my backyard and <laughs> for those fights. So it's great. We have a place now, and it's, and it's growing. We're getting more students every day, and the fight team's growing. So it's, uh, it's good, man. That's awesome. So that's the home gym for you now. Yes, sir. That's awesome. So talk about your style of teaching. Because when I think about you, you know, I think about you think like the art side of mixed martial arts, right? I mean, are you out there teaching fighting to these students, or is it more about this, this art style to, to the martial arts? Well, pretending to me specifically – when I, I feel like I'm always trying to show people better ways of defending themselves. Like, uh, ultimately, that's what my reason for martial arts is. Um, I wasn't always, the, I, when I was a kid, I guess, I wasn't the most intimidating person. And I was always small and always the, the runt of the litter, I guess you would say. And I really wanted to just be sure of myself. That was my point of going into martial arts or having... Um, any type of affinity towards martial arts was to be sure of myself. Not necessarily just to defend myself, but I want to know myself in deeper levels. Like, who am I through pain? Who am I through struggle? Who am I through adversity? And can I come back as myself after that? You know, and, and that's what I try to teach people. So when I'm teaching, yeah, it's slightly different because I'm more focused on concepts, not necessarily moves. I feel like hitting people, punches and kicks and elbows, it's easy to do. But now, why am I doing it and where am I doing it from? These are the difficult things um, that, is, that, that, that is hard to do. So that's what I try to teach. I try to teach it as a concept, being in the position before you execute your submission or your um, strike or whatever it may be. It's easy to hit somebody. It's just how you want to hit them and why you want to hit them. Those are the reasons we have to dig deep to answer. That's amazing. So where does your relationship stand with fighting right now, right? Because, like, I, throughout your entire career, it just felt like this was a pit stop for you. It wasn't necessarily your true love. And now, I mean, you're the most experienced guy on the card. You and Francisco Trinaldo, but he's, like, 60 years old. You know what I mean? So I mean, wh- wh- where do you stand? I mean, you, you're, well, you're, you're a veteran now. I got to say, first, let me clarify. I don't have anything wrong with fighting. I love fighting. I love fighting. I love martial arts. I love competing. I love training. All, everything that has to do with martial arts, I love it. I don't like sports, which is why, you, like, when it comes to, like, competing in organizations and stuff like that, I do it. It's my job. I, I, like, I, I like parts of it and everything. It's great. It's fun. It allows me a lot of freedom and allows me a lot of um, um, room to grow through. But I don't like sports. And it's not – I don't know. I just can't watch it. You know, um, I can't get into it. I like playing them, but I just don't like keeping up with the stuff. So – um, when it comes to martial arts, I love martial arts. I'm always going to be doing this forever, I feel like. Whether it's with the UFC or not, I'm going to be training for the rest of my life if it's possible and competing for as long as I can. But the UFC is the best place to do it in. I mean, so far I fought in plenty of organizations throughout my career. Um, I've been with the UFC the longest, and they just do it right. So I'm here. That's awesome. So I'm curious what happens when you get a fight offer, right? Because I know there's no way – in God's green earth, you've ever seen Sung Woo Choi fight before, right? I mean, you don't watch fighting, do you? Um, no, I, I've seen him fight before. Okay. We, we, we did watch some, some tapes, you know, once we hear the opponent. Oh, like, we got this opponent. All right, let's watch a couple videos on him. But when you first get the name, I mean, do you have, yeah, like, an no, instant I, reaction, or are you just like, I don't know? I don't I know. Um, it, it really is never a name. It's like Abraham calls me. He's like, hey, man, you want to fight? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, um, do you want to send your contract? No, you sign it for me. So I really don't know who I'm fighting, and then he sends me the name, and then we'll look him up. And to me, it doesn't matter. Um, to game plan, it's always irrelevant to me because I have such a, I guess, from lack of a better term, awkward style that people tend to have to make adjustments for me. And they're usually the same adjustments, but for the most part, they have to change up their way of the fighting in order to deal with my um, awkwardness. So game planning for what they do never really seems to work out for me. Because I'm kind of in the in the moment fighter. Do you wish there was a better way to describe your style than awkward? 
um, I guess you can say in the moment. <laughs> nice. yeah, you know? what, did, what did you think? So you did, after, or obviously you accept, then you, then you watch the tape and see what the guy's about. Were you impressed by what you saw? Is there anything he did that you, were, that you liked? What was your initial impressions? Well, the first impressions, you know, he's a pressure fighter. You know, he likes to come forward. He likes to throw hard. You know, he loads up his shots. I don't see him doing too many pick, picking shots, like picking people apart. He'll step you, he'll walk you down, come in there with hard combos, look to tie you up in the clinch, grind you out, break off with nice strikes and stuff. So he's a great striker. I can, I, we have seen fights where it seems like he doesn't like to grapple, which is cool. Um, I don't necessarily <laughs> like to grapple if I don't have to either. So uh, it could be a good stand-up fight. But then again, I have been training with Enrico Coco for a very long time now, and I feel like my grappling's a lot better if we do take it to the ground. I feel very confident there. But no, I wasn't necessarily impressed with anything. And not saying that, oh, that he's nothing. You know, I'm not impressed. It's just, like you said, I've been in this thing for, this is my 10th year in the UFC, and I've seen, I fought some of the highest level guys and from all, from all ranges and, I've seen it all, you know, like there's good people. I'm not saying he's good. I'm not saying that I'm better than him, but I know I'm good and I'm going to, you know, bring it. (laughs) Knowing that you're going to, you know, train martial arts for your life. I mean, have you put an end date on how long you actually want to be competing? I mean, I just think about it's crazy when I look at how many fights you've had. You could put up like Jim Miller numbers, right, or or Cowboy Cerrone numbers. I mean, is that do you want to stick around that long to put up that type of longevity? Well, I mean, uh, as long as I feel good. As long as I feel good um, and I just stay honest with myself that I'm able to compete, then I'll keep doing it. There is no reason for me to stop. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting older at the moment, you know, like maybe if I hit 45 or something. But other than that, uh, I don't know, I feel great. I feel, you know, I, I'm tra- I train hard every day, you know. I, I frustrate even young guys with my energy, so I don't, I don't know. I don't see me stopping anytime soon. I dig it. Last thing, and obviously most importantly, uh, garden update. Anything new in there? Anything exciting? What's, what's going on in the garden? Well, between opening the business, remodeling the business spot, and doing all that stuff, and, uh, and camp, um, I have planted some new stuff, and I have harvested a lot of different things, but I haven't really got um, – it's kind of overgrown right now. Like, everything's getting wild. I got to get in there and trim up some of the hedges, if you know what I mean. 